Well, like some sad news, um, Gift of Gab from Blackalicious passed away, and um, this video is a little bit late on the topic, but um, yeah, anyway, I, I thought I should address it, and um, he just seemed like such a, a positive man, and uh, this is the only release I ever owned from Blackalicious, but I was listening to... Uh, Naya, I hope is how you pronounce it, and man, he his rhymes are blowing my mind, and uh, he's such a positive guy. I definitely discovered him through Make You Feel That Way, which had video play on Much Music back when Much Music was a was a thing, or back when Much Music lived up to its name. Um, so way, way, way back, like 20 years ago or something. Um, we saw him live in 2011, and uh, it was at a festival, and he blew away the crowd. Um, of course, he did um, the alphabet uh, aer aerobics, is that how it, what it's called? And, uh, oh my god, yeah, he blew away the audience, and he also was walking around earlier that day as a penguin, um, dressed up as a penguin in a penguin costume. Uh, to observe the festival goers in the city and all that and uh, <laughs> because um, you know he's not like a big you know Dr. Dre level celebrity um, though his rhymes are as good and or better because he writes his own rhymes um, but uh, and because they're so positive and everything but um yeah so he went around as a penguin and he said I've been going around all day observing you guys as a big-ass penguin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have such good memories of Blackalicious. Uh, I didn't know they came back to town two years later. They played a, a nightclub. Um, I just found that out when I found out he passed away, and I was like, ah, oh, man, would have been great to see him again. He died 50 years old of natural causes, so that's really sad. Um, and I'm learning so much. I learned that uh, Gift of Gab left behind nearly a hundred tracks for future Blackalicious releases. So there's going to be so many, like, um, archival releases. Uh, his bandmate, um, Sh uh, Chief Excel, said, I almost said chef there, uh, our brother was an MC's MC who dedicated his life to his craft, one of the greatest to ever do it. He's the most prolific person I know. He was all about pushing boundaries of art, the art form, in the most authentic way possible. He truly believed in the healing process of music. Yeah, I'm for that. Uh, he viewed himself as a vessel used by a higher power whose purpose was to give positive contributions to humani humanity through rhyme. Um, that's what um, Chief Excel said. And then his manager, Brian Ross, said, he was one of the most positive human beings I have ever known and always looking toward the future. He was endlessly brimming with new ideas, philosophical perspectives, and thoughts about the future. I'm reading all this off pitch Pitchfork. He was always ready to learn, grow, and engage in a deep conversation about things he was less familiar with. A simple conversation with about nearly anything could take you places you have never uh, even expected. And... Um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess we'll have a lot to look forward to, and, uh, after hearing Naya, like, I just want to hear more and more, and, um, yeah, it's really sad anyway. Um, you know, it's always sad when someone passes away, and I realize that maybe I took them for granted, and, uh, you know, it's it's nice to um, experience all the stuff uh, that they put out. It, the same thing happened with Prince. I didn't at all appreciate him while he was alive, and I wish I went to go see him live. But Gift of Gab, at least we saw Blackalicious live ten years ago. That was amazing, so all of us have that memory. Um, DJ Shadow said something on his Instagram. Uh, that was a really nice statement. Uh, he goes way back with DJ Shadow and Lyrics Born. They were all on the same uh, record label. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, just been listening to his positive lyrics, and um, he really preaches pro positivity. And uh, one of the tracks on Naya is like his critics and his um, fellow um, black community saying like, why don't you do lyrics about, um, you know, pushing dope and gangbang and, and uh, pimping and all that. 
And he said, that's not what I know. Like, I'm not going to, um, you know, dumb myself down to, you know, be a big success like 50 Cent, you know. It's not about, you know, because gangster rap was really in at the time. And, uh, you know, it's not about um, just pretending you're something you're not just for the trends. Um, I'm paraphrasing because I don't have that article in front of me. But 50 years old. Um, so... Much love and respect to his family, uh, gift of gab, peace and love out to the end. Uh, Timothy Jerome Parker is his birth name, 50 years young. So rest in power, gift of gab, and um, yeah, sad circumstance to make the video, but I'm looking forward to the archival stuff. Um, anyway, peace out everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another rambling video.